the more that we choose this love, the more that we can help with this ascension process. Twelfth dimension of consciousness. First dimension is the mineral kingdom. 2D dimensions is the plants, lower animals kingdom. They live solely with the awareness at the moment. Human second dimensional consciousness is centered in the lower brain that directs the autonomic nervous system to regulate and maintain life support functions. So it's kind of like the lizard brain just reacts in the moment. Third dimension is for high animal and lower human. Emotional consciousness. The third dimension is locked in a time space cause effect paradigm through the individual human souls. Sense of separations, duality, these are the common traits. Our higher self is not integrated into the physical body because it cannot handle the density and lower frequency. As long as the ego mind is in the lead, our heart is closed. So we adapt to the game and accept the 3D illusion as our reality because everyone does. We're trained to learn about math, English, science, and in Candy's case, and Wei Li's, and my case, and Chinese as well, and all these different things as the key to what life is. We don't learn about the different Ds. That's the only choice we have on this plane, which is love or fear. Once we learn to choose love permanently, we come to enlightenment as our frequency raises significantly. The more that we choose this love, the more that we can help with this ascension process towards the fourth dimension. Our soul to start to take the lead on transforming our ego to our free spirit. When we always use our intellectual mind, either balancing it with our heart or getting coherent with our heart, or letting our heart lead the way, then it's still the ego leading the way. I'm not saying the mind is bad, but we've been accustomed to overusing our mind thinking that it's the leader. The heart before the brain, it was created. The heart sent more signal to the brain than the brain sends to the heart. Each one of the major organs, it has its own brain, scientifically proven. The more that we learn to tap into our heart, the more that we are connecting to our soul and it will help us transcending to the higher dimensions. In the third dimension, when we start to connect to our soul, we'll learn that there are no victims and there are no perpetrators. Especially with the chaos that's going on in the world, it's so important for us to connect with our soul because otherwise things just doesn't make sense. Why are we getting more and more suffering? Because to get to the higher vibration, a lot of the beliefs that we've been holding on to is not us. But the belief that's indoctrinated into us when we growing up in society, we think that's us. In order for us to ascend to the higher dimensions, we need to let a lot of those things go. And when you start to go up in a higher vibration, a lot of those lower vibrations, emotions, stories, it cannot hold on anymore. So it will come to the surface. And once and for all, we have to let it go. We can choose not to let it go and hold on and we'll be remaining in the lower dimensions. But even with what happening in George Floyd as an example, racism has been going on for a long time and suppressing people until we start to release that. Now we get public acknowledgement on a global level. This should not be tolerated anymore. That's what true freedom comes in. I see it as a great thing. We started to unite as a collective. When we started with the lockdown, everyone staying home together, what a sign of unity. And now we everyone's marching around the world together, another very strong sign of unity. So suppressing and controlling different race, that's gonna go. The education system and the entertainment, the finance system, a lot of this system that's been put onto it, one by one they're gonna go. Once they go, you're gonna see true freedom. When each one of us wake up, we don't have to feel stressed, I need to make money. We don't have that either the belief system or physical reality, we have no money to buy stuff. This world would start to change a different world. So in the 4D and the 5D world, where there's a lot more love and unity of people accepting each other, the current paradigm of how the society is structured, of using fossil fuel and using a lot of these things where free energy has been around for a long time but again these things have been suppressed and what is the 4D world like? It's a bridge between 3D and 5D. When we go dreaming in REM sleep in the deep dream and have dreams, those are typically going to the astral plane and this is the 4D world that we get into. Some people call it subconscious. Human form can also still exist in the 4D plane because when it comes to 6D, you start to become a light body. 
almost like Jesus or someone you see them just turn into light and disappearing and the high being they don't have a physical body they call it the light body what is the 5D? 5D is the place fifth dimensional plane of light linear time and space do not bind consciousness here this is the dimension beyond linear time that means that many different timelines are available to access physical existence is still possible on this plane although the body is lighter and of a different cellular structure. This opened up another can of worms. Our DNA, which most scientists will say that like 90% is like junk DNA, that's because they don't know what it does. When we start to transform to a higher level of consciousness, the DNA somehow will coil and there's a lot of hidden abilities will start to get released and for you to access, including tapping into a different dimension and tapping into Akashi record and the collective consciousness. When the physical body is fully transformed into this structure, there is no pain. Whether there is no fear, it is the plane of unconditional love and abundance manifest in the physical. Before the higher self can be fully anchored into the physical body, the healing of all bodies, the mental, emotional and physical has to be completed.